this is my entry for Liz Russell's one year anniversary challenge giveaway. And the challenge was to alter something unique, something that you wouldn't normally consider altering or to incorporate something unique into a project. And so I chose to alter this plastic suggestion box. And you can check out her channel, Liz Russell, to get the complete details, but I'll just do a quick run through. Um, number one, obviously you must be a subby. Um, and this is open to international subbies as well. Um, you must alter something unique or incorporate something unique. You must use at least one metal embellishment. You must incorporate the color black. It doesn't have to be the main color, but it just has to have a touch of black. And you must do a video response or send pictures if you don't do videos. And so this box was a gray color and I painted the whole thing vintage white. And I'm going to start from the top. This flower I made following a tutorial, and I don't remember the name of the, the YouTube channel, so I apologize, but she purchased some, some of this chiffon trim from Hobby Lobby. And so you kind of start rolling it tightly at first, you know, for the center, and then you start folding it roughly in one inch increments and kind of tack it down with hot glue as you go. And then you just flatten it down and put whatever center you're going to use, you know, a button or a bling or whatever. And so I used one of these um, that I'd gotten from the wedding section of Hobby Lobby and it's their picks that they have there. These are some leaves that I painted a champagne color and these are also from the wedding section of Hobby Lobby. This is a spray that I had in my stash, some feathers that I had in my stash. This trim I placed here to cover up the hole left by the locking mechanism that I removed from the box. And um, it's a trim that I received from B, and she's the busy B here on YouTube. Thanks, B. Um, she'd sent me some in pink and some in ivory, and I used, um, aside from using it here and at the bottom, I also cut off a rosette from this pink one and from the ivory one, and I'll show you that later. This laces from my stash and this flat back pearl trim is also from my stash and to be honest I am probably going to pop the back off and put this flower and the leaves and such here because I think it will do a much better job of covering that hole because you can still kind of see it and the only reason I didn't remove the back in the first place was because I wasn't sure if I was going to leave it as a freestanding unit or if I was going to hang it up on the wall so but I don't really like that number one you can still see the hole and then it's kind of got this awkward gap here that I wasn't sure what to do with so I'm going to pop the back off and just cover it up with some chipboard or something. Okay, and down here, here's another one of those um, flowers that I made using that chiffon trim from Hobby Lobby. Here's a, a rosette that I cut from the trim that Bee sent me. And then this is a button from Joann's. And there's the, the ivory colored one and then there's a pink colored one with the same button. And then this is a muslin flower with that Hobby Lobby Center. Um, and I made this following another tutorial, and again, I apologize, don't remember the name of that person, um, but I used the Tim Holtz Tattered Floral Dye, and you just kind of fold them up into fourths and then glue them down, and so there's that one. Some more of the leaves from Hobby Lobby, and then there's this little pick, and it has tulle, and then in the center it has this little bit of pearl spray. And so I kind of tuck those in here, there, and everywhere. And then here's my metal embellishment. And it also incorporates the black that I needed for the challenge. And it's I got this from Walmart, and it was on clearance. And it says, easily distracted by shiny things. So that describes me. And on the inside... This paper is from the DCWV Primrose stack, and the postcard, and then this, well, basically all the paper except for the stamp that's Prima, and then the words are the Tim Holtz Chit Chat stickers, and then obviously doilies. And I was going to put an inspirational quote or poem or, you know, something that just offers encouragement 
but I didn't really find anything that I liked. So just for the meantime, I put this from Voltaire and it says, I have decided to be happy because it is good for my health. And so that's something I just have to remind myself to try to be positive and to be happy um, because we just, we're not in control of everything. And so the, the only thing we can control is our attitude about things. So I, I put that and then just some other words that are important or that are inspiring. And this says family, friends, and hope. And I realized too late that I should have placed these, you know, more towards the center because they're kind of covered up. And then this says, imagine, create, and inspire. And then down here it says, love. And then these are just random bits that I cut out. This one says, enjoy the journey. But these are just random bits that I cut out just to kind of fill up the space. And then there's a strip of a different kind of paper here to change it up because it was looking kind of, I don't know, plain. And then there's a little bit of a ruler that I cut out. And there's some at the top too, but you can't see that. It's covered up. And so the base is, re well, here's some more of that rosette trim, but the base is removable. And I didn't fuss with it too much because number one, you can't see it all that well. And number two, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. And I covered it with some lace that I had purchased at the thrift store a while back. And it's a double, double layered lace. And so that's all I've done to the bottom. And so, yeah, that's it. That's my project. That's my entry. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.